about there's something out there something big really big I saw it it's huge it's white and it made a noise like Whoa. Captain look at this I managed to snap a picture of whatever's out there that's it that's what I saw what on earth could it be it's as big as a whale but whales are usually dark grayish Hi, me hearties. <gasps> That's no ordinary whale. That there be a ghost whale. Ghost whale? Aye, it's a crafty beast, as pale and cold as the moonlight. It rises from the depths at night and plays tricks on passing ships. Whatever it is, it sounds sad. It may be hurt. Or need our help. We're going to find this so-called ghost whale. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Yow! Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, we're going to find this so-called ghost whale. Tweak. If there's something out there, these will help you find it in the dark. Whoa! One peek through these ghost goggles, and you'll be able to see the heat coming from its body. Ooh, ghost goggles? Shiver me whiskers. Ready, Peso? Let's go. Tweak, open the octa hatch. Got it, Cap! Scallywag must be around here somewhere. This way. A vast, strange heat patterns are coming from that pink colored reef. Whatever we're looking for, it should be right here. And then we better take a look. Octonauts, let's investigate. There's something very strange about this reef. Captain, look at this. It's white underneath. Hmm. Let me try that. <laughs> this is no reef. Some kind of trick. Come here, you. Steady on, Quasi. We still don't know what we're dealing with here. It's coming back. What? Haven't you ever seen a whale with a sunburn before? This may be another ghost trick. Or this may not be a ghost at all. Ghost? Who are you calling a ghost? I'm a humpback whale. I just happen to be completely white. Nice try, but you're pink. I've got sunburn on my back and it doesn't feel very good to have you lot climbing all over it. Ouch, that must really hurt. 
Ah, well, it's my own fault. Yesterday I spent too much time near the surface and got this nasty burn from the sun. With a burn like that, you should stay down here at the bottom, out of the sun. I'd like to, but uh, I can't hold my breath forever. I have to go up for air every 15 minutes. The sun will be coming up again soon. Unless we do something, your sunburn will get even worse. I know just the solution, Captain. A hundred cc's of super soothing beluga strength underwater sun cream. Uh, Peso? Phew. Yes, Captain. I think we're going to need more sun cream. A lot more. But that was my last bottle. Let's see. It's made from water, sea slime, mushroom coral mucus... Mushroom coral! That's it! What's he going on about? Once, in me pirate days, I found myself washed up on a desert island. The only thing that protected me from the scorching sun was a mushroom coral. It grows in the shallows and makes its own oily, oozy sun cream. That sounds disgusting. It sounds perfect. Let's go! Hold on, Quasi. There's not enough time to find the mushroom coral and bring it back here before the sun comes up. He'll have to come with us. Oh, I'm sorry, mate, but I'm not fit for swimming that far. This sunburn really hurts. If we can't bring the coral to the whale, we'll bring the whale to the coral. How are we going to move a whale? Come in, Tweak. We're going to need some gup backup here. You got it, Cap. Which gup do you need? All of them. Octonauts, let's pick up the pace. We've got to get this whale to the coral before sunrise. Hang on, big guy. We're almost there. We should find some mushroom corals in the shallow water up ahead. Truly amazing. An albino humpback whale. Albino? Every now and then, a whale will be born that's completely white. An albino? It's a very rare sight indeed. Listen, mate, I can't stay under forever. How about taking me up for some air? Captain, the whale needs to take a breath. Got it. Quasi, you copy? I copy, Captain. Watch that fin. Tweak, are you there? Right here, Cap. We've got to bring our friend here up for air. Get ready to surface. Octonauts, let's do this. We have to hurry. The sun will be coming up any minute now. Ahoy! Mushroom coral! Straight ahead! Uh-oh! Looks like we've got company. A school of squid! We'll go around them! At this speed, we can't turn fast enough to go around them! What should we do, Captain? An emergency drop. I don't think I like the sound of this. Those coral are our target. On the count of three. One. Two, three! Hey! Uh, nice driving back there. Excellent work, Octonauts. But we've still got a lot more work to do. We're not hurting the coral, are we? Mushroom corals are tough and aren't attached to anything. They don't mind being moved around a bit. Just a bit more. And finished. Ha! <laughs> a coral that makes sun cream. I never knew there was such a thing. Well, I never knew there was such a thing as a white and pink whale. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I think I feel it's working already. Uh, good on you, mates. Just be careful not to spend too much time in the sun. Let's take a photo. Wait. <laughs> Oi! Watch the sunburn, mate. Oops. <laughs> Perfect. I think that 
means go. <laughs> Captain Barnacle to Octopod. Octopod here. Go ahead, Cap. Tweak, Peso. Our trip to the beach is in a bit of trouble. What kind of trouble? A completely stuck kind of trouble. In fact, I don't think we're going to make it home. <gasps> in time for dinner. <sighs> Captain, Quasi, where are you? Stuck in a rock pool. We were so busy exploring that when the tide went out, it left us in. We'll just have to make the best of it. Ow! Did anyone bring a beach ball? All kinds of creatures get stranded in rock pools until the tide comes back in to free them. Look at this beautiful shell. We'll have to wait here for an hour until the tide brings the water back in again. Peso, you're in charge until we get back. Me? Righto, Captain. I need you to keep a watch on things until we get back to the octopod. I'll, I'll do my best to keep everything under control here. You can do it, Peso. Barnacle's out. Sorry, we'll play again later. Right now, I have to get to HQ. It looks nice and calm out there. That's good. Let's check the radar, Tweak. I don't see anything unusual on the radar. Hmm. That's good. Let's listen for any unusual sounds coming from outside the octopod. No unusual sounds out there. That's good. That's not good. It sounds like a, a creature who needs help. We, we've got to do something, Tweak. We've got to, to... Sound the octo alert? Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, I've got to find whatever's making that noise. Don't forget to use the camera on the gup. Yes, so we can see what you see out there. Remember now, we're right here, ready to help you. Um, Peso. Oh, right, okay. <clears throat> Open the Octo hatch, please. You got it, Peso. <laughs> well, Professor, Peso may be a little shaky, but he's doing fine. Yes, Peso's never too frightened to help. Once he's learned that something might be in danger, nothing stops him. <gasps> it has to be nearby. I hear it, but I don't see anything. Righto. Whoa! Oh, flappity flippers, what's that? Hmm, I believe it's a hermit crab. Not dangerous, but very unhappy at the moment. Right, time for a checkup. Hello. My name is Peso. I'm an octonaut and a medic. Can you tell me your name, please? Oh. Get me out. OK, Mr. Get me out. Oh. Now, this won't hurt a bit. Oh, my name's not Get me out. I want you to get me out of this shell. I'm... Oh, stuck! Oh. 
Ow! Oh, it's no use. Here, maybe I can pull you out. No! Ow, that hurts! Sorry. Oh, I told you it was no use. Don't worry. We'll get you out of that shell somehow. I know someone who can help us. What do you think, Tweak? I'll cut open a shell with my Octo Slicer, and he'll be free easy as pie. Uh, here. Uh, now what are you doing? We're going to remove the shell for you. We'll just cut it open and... Stop! Please stop! Oh, hello. Stop? Why? Listen, I'm almost too big for the shell I'm in. I need a new one, and that shell is just right, just right! It may be too small for him, but it's a perfect size for me. He's not the only hermit crab around here, you know. <laughs> oh, well, let's get on with it. If you cut that shell in half, it'll be ruined, ruined! I'll never find another one like it, and believe me, I've looked. If you don't mind my asking, why do you keep changing shells anyway? Oh, because hermit crabs can't grow their own shells, so we borrow the shells of other animals for protection. We move into one shell. Grow up, get bigger. And then move to a bigger shell. So what can we do, Tweak? Maybe I could just cut off the shell and then try to glue it back together. That's too risky. I think we need a new plan. Captain, we have one hermit crab who needs to get out of his shell and another who wants to get in. We have to safely remove the crab from its shell. There's only one thing to do, Peso. We have to perform a crabectomy. Captain, I've never performed a crabectomy before. Even when I was in medical school. Just watch out for those pinchy claws. I'll talk you through the whole operation. I had to perform an emergency crabectomy once in my polar bear cub days. Righto. And I promise we won't damage that shell. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Step one, steady the shell. Step two, fasten the hose. Step three, prepare landing pad. Ready, Tweak? I really hope this works. Me too. <clears throat> Captain, we're ready for the crabectomy. All right, Peso. This should take five big pumps of air to push him out. You'll have to really put some muscle into it. Flippers in place, Captain. All right. On my count. Five. Four. Three. Oh, two. One. Yay! We did it! Well done, Octonauts. And especially you, Peso. Your first crabectomy. Thanks, Captain. How are things in the rock pool? It looks like the tide's coming in. Octonauts, we're going home. Yay! Where did he go? It's perfect. Huh? Thanks for the new shell. See ya. Oh, so now he's got my old shell. What about me? No shell, no protection, no nothing. I'm naked. What am I going to do? Hmm. <gasps> it's the Guppy. They're back. Hey, so. Ta da! Oh. How's this? Oh, 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 lovely. Home sweet home. I think that should last you a while. <laughs> if you need someone to decorate your new home, we do know a decorator crab. 